Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the next episode of Empire Divided where we are playing as the Caldoni and we are trying to prepare for the war with Britannia to come. Um, now, I just want to say a big thank you for the comments that I've been getting. Uh, Snow, Snow Econ, I hope I've got your name right. You did mention a couple things that I've actually taken into account and um, I'm going to apply to my videos and um, I, I look at it as constructive criticism and uh, it's a positive thing so I, I, I really do uh, I do really do need these comments and they help to improve my gameplay I mean they're, they're all positive and uh, one of the things you did mention in terms of the Jurid, Jurid um, he's not a spy <laughs> I was calling him a spy and you are perfectly 100% right um, he's a dignitary and the spy is actually here um, also known as a scout so um, I've been using our druid as a spy he can scout uh, however that's not his main trait his main uh, trait is to actually help with uh, settlements uh, both in uh, our provinces and other people's provinces to kind of hinder the government and um, maybe make enemy undermine enemy generals so I've been using him as a spy which is not which is wrong <laughs> uh, so I've got to make sure that I'm using him for the right thing um, now what we're going to do we're still going to prepare for war uh, we've only got a few more turns left until I think we go ahead uh, the other thing that I wanted to look at was uh, some of the technology that we was doing um, and I it in order to get the rewards for um, here we go the, the effort of many uh, diligence instilled which um, no, you can. You you did mention you you won't get it until I actually uh, go to war with Britannia, and then I get all the rewards, which again was very helpful. I wonder where I was going to get when I was going to get these rewards, but they have to uh, do all three objectives to actually do that. Um, I think we're going to be doing that very soon because we're going to go to war with Britannia in the near future. Um, now, in terms of armies, we've got 20 out of 20 troops, which we're pretty comfortable with, and we're getting a quite a bit of income each term. Uh, we're in a positive um, relationship with food as well. We're getting quite a bit of food. Uh, in terms of balance of power, we're almost even, but um, I'm on the watch out for um, any army that's on its way up. I'm actually going to bring my Dura down and use him as a spy until we can actually build our own spy which is going to cost us uh, 1100 coins let's then turn and let's see what the next turn brings us now i had to um i had to change my power supply on my actual um, computer i don't know why um, it was a 650 watt power supply which is more than enough to feed my graphics card and, and the motherboard and all the components of the computer but the um, power supply started uh, sizzling with a very unique buzzing noise and I had to replace it, it was, um, and it just totally caved out on me I was actually in the middle of recording so this is something that I've already recorded but I couldn't it didn't save so I'm doing it again um, right motivated populace the people of this province are happy at their current circumstances good for them they're very happy and that's what we want. We want a happy nation. Uh, let's have a look. I have a 500 next turn until we get that spy. Actually, let's move our Durid down. I think we could go to war with Britannia now. Um, it would be nice to get a spy. If we can get a spy, maybe next turn. Alright, let's, let's change turn. Let's see if we can get a spy next turn. And that would allow us to... Um, be ready. Uh, I want to make sure that I've got everything uh, ready for the war to come. Uh, our armies are decent, uh, however, whether they're strong enough to beat the Britannia faction, I don't know. We have to see. Right, rural horse, war horses, good. So we've done that technology. Where was we? Where is that? Was it this one? Or was it this one? Brave souls. Um, let's see if we can do anything with income. Plus four growth in all provinces. Um, quite happy with our province growth at the moment. Dignitary actions. Is he a dignitary? Yeah, he is. Let's um, improve our Durid. Let's do um, plus a 15% chance for dignitary actions. Have we got enough for our... Um, 
to recruit us by now. Yes, we do. All right, let's recruit this guy here. And let's take our spy next turn and bring him down to Stanwick to just spy on the enemy. Uh, let's bring our Druid a bit lower down. I don't know where their army is. I wonder if they've taken them across because I'm pretty sure they're at war. Roman pretenders and Rome. Is a client state of Gallic Rome. Okay, let's enter. Once our spy gets to Stanwick, I think we might be able to win. And our Duras could kind of hinder the advancement of the enemy army if it decides to march up to meet us. Uh, whether we're going to actually take out the entire Stanwick province is another thing. Yeah, my power pack was actually buzzing. It was, it was getting quite scary, actually. Um, I'm not an expert at computers, but I don't think I need to be an expert at computers to know that that wasn't right. Um, right, actually get a... What's our... A votive offering. What do we get? Oh, okay, plus four public order per turn all provinces and plus five morale for all units. Votive offering. Okay, so we've got a Durid there. Now, this is the winter, and this might not be the best time to attack. However, our, our troops are immune to snow attrition, which is good. But we're going to get attrition in enemy territory anyway. It is January. It's winter. All right, where's our spy? Let's bring our spy down. Let's see what our spy can do. Could do some sabotage. Insight and arrest. Poison wells. Should we try poison in the wells? Let's try that. Successful, good. Your spy managed to poison wells, the water in the enemy uh, uh, settlement. Good, and our spy has increased in rank. You gotta love these agents. These agents are very useful. Um, plus two public order per turn, local province, or plus one cunning. I think I'll do the cunning for now. And let's do... I like the campaign movement range. Oh, it has to be accompanying a general. Plus one to zeal. Manipulation, assassination, commit arson, wreck, barret, uh, baggage train, military intelligence, counterintelligence. I think I like the cunning. Yeah, I like the military intelligence as well. Right, so what have they got? They've got seven units. Valites, two lion roams, skirmishers, one slingers, one Roman Levite, and one cohort. Do you know what? I think we're ready. I think we're going to declare war. So, now they're going to call in their allies Gallic Rome now, um, but I think we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, the Gallic Rome have refused to join the army, which is good. I'm actually going to bring. Good. Uh, I'm going to auto resolve this. Let's do a balanced stance. Client declares independence. Uh, the faction refused protection of the overlord. It is no longer a client state. Good. So we've taken Stanwick. And let's occupy the settlement. I think our people could be happy. I hope so. Military traditions. Our king is now rank 3. So that's good. Uh, king is happy with his current situation. Right. I'm going for a... Plus four weapon damage inflicted by all missile units, plus three shots per minute. I think I'm gonna go for melee attack. Plus four weapon damage inflicted by all melee units. Morale for all units during ambushes. I think I'm gonna be ambushed. I'm gonna go for the um, formidable fighters. I think we're gonna need that. And I think we've done this last time. So maybe we should continue working up this tree. Plus 7% morale for all units, plus 4% melee attack skill for all infantry units, plus 2 experience rank for all infantry recruits. I do like their morale. Can we do both? Let's do that. And then we can continue. I like the morale boost. Right, our spy. Let's bring him down. Let's see what's happening around here. Okay, our general is um, pretty upset. He's never in wars, this general. Ritamaras. He's pretty upset all the time. Our king has is taking all the glory at the moment. 
So, um, ah, and I believe we've got our new objective. Yeah, I think we get that next turn. Um, yeah, we've taken the Britannic Isle, so that's the first bit. The next bit we need to do is we need to take the entire province of Britannia. And Britannia is made out of these four settlements here. So if we take these four, then that'll be our next objective done. And then we've got to take uh, Gallia and Remedies. How far does it want us to go? Ooh, okay. It wants to take kind of northern Italy then. Okay, well, we'll make our way there then, eventually. Maintain 120 units, 40 naval units. Maybe it's time to start building up a navy. We're getting 945 each turn. Uh, let's see what we can do in this settlement. Convert. We cannot convert. What are these? What do these give us? Plus one public order per turn. That could be useful. It's a city. I think we keep that. Uh, Exilia camp. I think we'll keep these. We just need to get enough money. Oh, edict. Oh yeah, of course. We need to offer an edict. I'm going to go for... I think... Public order. No, I think we'll be fine with public order. Or we could do public order for now. Uh, until we become a bit more stable here, just in case we're attacked. So we're going to end turn. Right, this is going good. Stanwick is ours. We are then going to make our way for Britannia. Uh, I think Britannia is going to actually come back with a bit of aggression now. They're not going to be happy that we've taken Stanwick. So, um... Yeah, maybe I... Oh, they're bringing their forces back. I think they did bring them to mainland Europe. I had to auto-resolve that. I didn't feel it was need to actually play the battle. I think it'd be quicker to auto-resolve. Mission successful towards freedom. Yes, we get a plus three, 500, 3,500. Ah, now this is exactly what you was talking about, Snowyk, and you said about we won't get the objective until we um, complete all three. And um, now we've got it. We've got towards freedom. The Romans had failed to subdue the Caledonian. Now, with the Roman Empire weakened by internal strife, the Caledonia prepared to return Britannia to Celtic rule. Be it well of the following faction, Britannia. Bonus objectives completed, 2 out of 2. Treasury, 3,500. Objective in, uh, issued. Ancestral lands reclaimed. Uh, completely control the following two provinces, either by direct ownership or through military allies. Britannia and Britannic Isles. We get plus 3,000 for objectives. And it's going to ask us to do these three things. Uh, so we need to claim Britannia as well. Uh, we get Roman Britannia Fowls, capture the last remaining settlement of this faction, Britannia, and return of the Durids. Research the following technology, uh, resurrected Durid order. Where is that? Maybe it's here. Oh, we're, we're doing it anyway. Uh, we'll get that then for next turn. Um, let's have a look at our public order. Our public order is good. I might change the edict now to more income. 20% rail for more currents. Buildings. Now actually, before we do that, let's dismantle or convert these. Uh, we're going to do a settlement, so we're going to do that. And we get Celtic archers. Maybe we should dismantle this. And that's going to be public order, so that's going to be useful. We get a commons for that, and we get um, we get fifty percent wealth. I'm actually going to dismantle this. Actually, let's have a look at our our own. Where is that? Clay pit. What do we get? Uh, it just provides a grazing. Uh, grazing Celtic archers and unlocks recruitment of uh, Ballista, Heavy, Onaga, Armoured Chariots. I'm actually going to go through that route. I'm going to go for the Craftsman House so we can get some of these. It might be helpful in our... It does add one pass, um, minus two public order per turn. 
uh, but it's the least amount so we can do a carpenter carpenter um do we have to dismantle that craftsman house yeah no we don't we we can just do that and just take the next route so i'm going to go for that and um, i think it's going to be useful to have um uh, ballistas and uh, such okay now what have we got in this city here we actually had our bronze workshop didn't we what did we already go for the bronze workshop oh that's in Elbana sorry um do we need a bronze workshop here not necessarily because we already got one uh, it'd be nice to actually mix it up a little it's going to give us more public order per turn giving us 200 wealth it's going to provide a grazing unit. We've already got a bronze workshop, so we don't need another one. A uh, coin maker might be good. 400 wealth, but it's going to give us plus 4 to squalor and minus 1 food. And also going to give us plus 6 banditry. It does provide some chosen sword war band as well. A trumpet maker. 8% wealth as well. I'm tempted to go for the coin maker. However, the public order seems quite. Minus one food, plus two public order. There's only 200 wealth for comments, but it does. I think I'm going to go for the horn maker instead. Have you got a horn maker anywhere? No, I think we'll go for the horn maker. We need 2,100 for that, so we're safe for that. In terms of food, we're in the positive for food at the moment. We have got a port here in Albano, we're going to need one. I think this is going to be our naval base. Maybe it would be good to get a harbour. Uh, it's going to add some more food. I think we're okay for food at the moment. What do we need? Enhanced boat. So we do need this next. Okay, I think we're going to um, wait until next turn. I think we need our farms for food. That's why I've got to look at it. I've got to look for food. Um, maybe we could do a field. I'm thinking about the squalor. I think our place, Albana, is not the cleanest. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, let's do a field. We get 60% wealth from agriculture as well. So let's do a field and let's end turn. Okay, now I'm pretty sure the Britannia faction is going to be attacking us soon. And they're not going to be happy with us taking their um, settlement. So uh, the understandable if they came to attack us. I'm actually awaiting them to attack us. However, this city seems to be pretty well defended, so this is going to be definitely our base. Here they come. The army's not making their way up. Um, however, it's not a very big army. Uh, they're probably just protecting their next settlement. Good. Uh, resurrected Durid Order is done, and we've done us um, technology as well. I wanted to build the harbour so I'm actually going to go for the enhanced boat construction. It allows us to build a harbour. Um, I'm going to start rebuilding some troops here. We've got enough money, enough income for that. What have we got? We've got some painted warriors. Maybe we should go some Celtic warband. How much do these cost each turn? 115 to maintain, 70 and 70. So they're going to cost. They're quite expensive to maintain each turn. But we do need some more infantry here. I'm just thinking if we can upgrade them. Let's do um, two units of Celtic Warband. Celtic Swordman, sorry. Alright, anything we could do here? We're, we're trying to convert these at the moment, so we've got one more turn for that. Let's see what our Durid can do here. Can we assassinate? No, not yet. He's not... Um, He's not experienced enough to assassinate. I'm, I'm trying to um, build these ranks up, so we're going to need to actually... Let's mislead command. Hopefully, 60% chance, successful, good. I'm just going to help in terms of um, their rank. Good, that's exactly what I wanted. A more experienced Durid is going to help us. Alright, I went for Cunning last time. 
Manipulation tempts plus 3% chance of successful manipulation. Merchant payoff minus 10 wealth from all comments building this action. Uh, plus 1 cunning. Betrayal plus 5% mislead command minus 2 cunning for the target army's general. Uh, let's go to for that. I think that might be good. Okay. And our spy. Can our spy do something? We've got enough income at the moment. Be good to actually get these um, agents in terms of the their rank. It might just be good to actually get them higher if you want to. They have a higher rank. They're better at um, dealing with threats. It'll be later on in the game. Now I'm pretty sure they're going to start building, putting their army forward. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. They might do. Our agents are going to be vital in this war. I believe so. So if we can get the rank up as soon as we can, the better. Right, research complete enhanced boat construction. We're allowed to do our harbour now, I think, if we've got enough. We're getting 800 per turn. I don't think we've got enough anyway. Only 1,600. Alright, let's do a new technology. Got any objectives to do? We just got to capture the last remaining province for that faction. So I'm going to let's have a look for plus four growth per turn in these provinces. Anything we can do to improve our plus 15 missile attack, we can do that. Plus 20 mini attack for ship skills uh, for crews of the ships. I don't think plus 10 morale for the crew itself. Plus 1 experience for all new champions, minus 20. I suppose we haven't recruited a champion, that might be good for a bit later on. So I'm going to start a recruitment of that. Uh, General is not doing too well at the moment, is he? I think he's so upset of us be using him as a um, kind of a guard of the city. Where's his details? Yeah, he's he's not he's not the best of generals, is he? I'm actually tempted to do something with him. Can we assassinate him? See horseshoe clan. Seahorse clan, not Seahorseshoe clan. Where'd I get that from? Influence, minus six tribal chiefs. Maybe I should assassinate him. I don't want to marry him. Um, it could be good to have a... Uh, let's have characters again. It'd be good to have a... Um, our statements... Is statements doing alright. But it'd be good to have a general that we can actually use. I'm using my king for everything. He's getting old, so we need, do need backup. I don't need to hire a statement just yet. Politics. And the Cardoni. Okay. Maybe we can take our army out. Can we take him out? Without yeah, it's still in the positive. Let's um let's continue to push. Let's see if we can do something with these uh, spy military sabotage. You can probably poison the wells again. Let's try poisoning the wells. Ah, I failed. Our hidden agent exposed. Okay. Right, let's bring our Dura down. Let's make sure there's no other army. I'm actually going to take this army and attack our next settlement here. Um, I'm going to bring our general down. Let's move him out. He might be a bit happy that we're moving him out. And um, our banners actually not too happy at the moment. In fact, oh, all our provinces are not happy. What you did have we got presence? We got the plus four public order. Because our general moved out, now our whole entire province is not happy at all. Okay, let's end turn. I think if we, um, we can probably take this next settlement. Um, I'm just worried where their army is. Their army must be on mainland Europe. Otherwise we would have seen it by now, surely. 
Um, I'm surprised they're not taking the army out. I don't want to speak too soon though. Here we go, we've got a champion coming up I think. He can't take out our king surely. He's done something. Right, the army's on their way back now I think. Um, I don't know what that champion's done to our army, hopefully he failed. Military subversion, an enemy champion has led a brutal assault against one of your patrols. Few have lived to tell the tale. Right, so what's happened? Hmm. Okay, he's taking out Highland Archers. Right, let's um take this settlement. Um, we're going to go auto resolve this. And we're going to go balance stance. Good, it looks like they're recruiting at the moment. Their champion seems to be pretty good. He's an enemy veteran as well. Let's occupy the settlement. Good, we're taking out the um, enemy now. Now we've got to be careful because it's. They're going to be um, for sure very soon going to um, bring up their army. Unless they've used all their army. Let's have a look at the um, balance of power. They must have their army nearby. I'm pretty sure they do. Right, let's take our spy, which has got a rank of two. I don't think he could do much to the champion. That champion's pretty, pretty good. He's got a three star ranking. I do he might be able to do something. Might be able to assassinate him. Manipulation might be able to manipulate him either. Alright, let's bring our general into the settlement here. Okay, now they're a bit happier now. Uh, can we get in harbour? We was going to go for the woodworker, wasn't we? Minus one to food, plus two public order. This might be good. It's going to be a plus two to squalor, minus one food, 100 wealth. We're going to go down this route. It's going to give us lots of... Um, public order for that. It's going to take a lot of food though. It's going to give us a plus two influence per turn for your political party. It's just taking food. Yeah, let's do um, Chieftain's Hold. I don't think we've got one of those. Yeah, let's do a Chieftain's Hold. Add to income and what else did it add? Newton's hold. Okay, guys. Yeah. Um, right. I'm going to leave the episode right there. Um, I think we've managed to get through quite a bit. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. And I will speak to you on the next episode. Bye for now, guys.